Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Giselle, I review fragrances. Welcome, if you're new here, I'm super happy you landed on my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your loyal support, which as I always say, it truly means the world to me. Guys, today I'm here with part one of fragrances that smell expensive for less than a hundred bucks. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. Welcome back and let's get started. Guys, I'm going to start this list with Jill Sander number four. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous scent, a gem, I would say, from the 90s. It's a woody, floral, spicy, warm, slightly fruity type of scent. Very, very beautiful. Oh gosh, this is a compliment getter, a head turner. Guys, you cannot imagine how many compliments I get every time I wear this. I don't know how many bottles I went through in my life and it's absolutely stunning every time i wear this i get tons of compliments it has a little bit of everything it has geranium it has jasmine it has tuberose it has sandalwood it has musk it has it has amber musk i think i said patchouli as well it's absolutely beautiful very very well blended it's a complex fragrance absolutely stunning it smells way more expensive than it is it's typical from jill sander i don't know if you know the designer it's a luxury fashion house from germany and they are renowned for their understated luxury similar to bottega veneta in that regards i have a friend in germany who used to be neighbors with jill sander she is apparently a super super nice person very low-key as everything in her lines right including her fragrances so this is a fragrance that smells more expensive than it is it's super super high quality it has some of those vintage vibes you can find in the 90s fragrances or even nowadays in chanel fragrances i can pick all the heights mind you just because the fragrance has some vintage vibes it doesn't mean they have all the heights in the composition but this reminds me of some of chanel fragrances definitely but it's absolutely beautiful i think this is way more modern and contemporary than many chanel fragrances but this is absolutely stunning it's a, it's a very opulent fragrance i think this is appropriate for nighttime but of course you can pull this off during the day it's a fragrance for a super confident woman it's slightly sweet i would say it's sweet but sweet enough if you know what i mean it's not overly sweet it's, it's not, not super girly it's a very feminine fragrance but it's not super girly but i know for a fact that many guys like this fragrance and they sometimes they layer this with woody or ambery scents and i can't imagine this being a bomb it's absolutely stunning it's a feminine rich deep warm type of scent for a very confident lady and i'm sure it will get you tons and tons of compliments fragrance. if you like, you like these small fragrances you should definitely try this lasting power is around six eight hours it doesn't last probably more than that but it has an amazing projection amazing sillage so if this is the type of fragrances you're looking for give this one a try jill sander number four so the next one on my list guys is arizona by proenza shoulder proenza shoulder is a high-end designer and this fragrance guys is to die for absolutely stunning it's a floral musky green fruity super juicy fragrance <sighs> beautiful it has amazing projection amazing sillage let me tell you a story the other day i had to go to the doctor and i met the most amazing nurse she was wearing of course a medical grade face mask and while well, she was walking me to the room she turned and said oh my god what are you wearing and i was shocked because i couldn't even smell this myself and i remember i put the fragrance two three hours before going there so long story short she loved fragrances as well we ended up chit chatting talking about fragrances i let her know i have a youtube channel so if you're watching hi i hope you found arizona and i wrote the name down for her because she truly loved it and yeah it's it's an amazing amazing fragrance the star of this perfume is the cactus flower which is a very rare note to see in perfumery right the cactus flower is a very juicy type of note it gives the fragrances that juiciness as i'm saying it's slightly green this is absolutely stunning 
as I was saying, CH projection is amazing. Lasting power is about five hours, if not six sometimes. It's a very invigorating fragrance. It has orange blossom. It has strawberry. strawberry. Strawberry is a note that usually I struggle with, but here, and I have another couple fragrances where the strawberry is so well blended that it gives juiciness. It gives a little bit of tartness, but you can really pinpoint strawberry itself. So no worries if you're like me, if you struggle with strawberries, you may still love this. <sighs> this is so beautiful, guys. You have to try this fragrance. It has orange blossom has jasmine, it has rose, it also has oris, it has musk, very, very beautiful. It's perfect for spring, summer. You will turn heads with this fragrance, let me tell you. Everybody, everybody who smelled this fragrance on me asked me what I was wearing and the opening is very juicy, very fresh. It's, as I said, a very invigorating fragrance, very energizing and it lasts about 10, 15 minutes, and then the dry down is different. I would say this fragrance has two phases. The opening is more youthful and bright, while the dry down is more mature. Of course, it's completely ageless, but I can distinguish these two phases in this fragrance. A youthful, bright, sparkly, bubbly type of opening, and a more toned down, mature dry down, which I love. Perfect to pull off during the day, during the night, especially in scorching hot summer nights, and the warmer and more humid the weather, the better this baby will perform. Give it a try, Arizona by Proenza Shoulder. So the next one on my list, guys, is Cheriole Eau de Parfum. Boy, this fragrance truly smells more expensive than it is. Cheriole is a Swiss brand. They are renowned for their watches, for their jewelry line, and also for their leather accessories. This fragrance is stunning. They also have the Eau de Toilette, but in this particular case, I prefer the Eau de Parfum. It's a very, very... comes with this little ring. It's a woody, floral, very fruity, tropical type of scent. It's tropical, but there's no coconut here, no scent and lotion vibes here, so no worries. It also has orchid, which is one of my favorite flowers. It has a uh, juniper berry. It also has mango, which is pretty prominent here, but it, it's not a lactonic scent like, for example, Cruz Azur 2 by Zerzhov or like Moonlight in Heaven by Killian, for example. It's not that type of lactonic mango. This is a fruity, juicy, watery type of mango, which I prefer. It's absolutely stunning. It also has Ilan Ilan, it has frangipani. Those are typical flowers we find in tropical scents. So these two are giving this fragrance that tropical vibes, that warmth. It also has vanilla. It has patchouli, it has some incense. Actually, you will be able to get more of the patchouli, the incense and the vanilla in the dry down. The opening is more fruity and floral, while the dry down is more woody, more incensey, and it's when you will get the vanilla. This is beautiful, guys. You should try this fragrance. This is an ageless fragrance, absolutely stunning. I talked about this fragrance before, I think in one or two of my videos. I will try to link at least one of them here so you can also watch that video. But it's a totally ageless fragrance. If you ask me, I would say it leans more on the mature side, but the fruity part of it always makes the fragrance a little bit more youthful and sparkly. So honestly, it's an ageless Thank fragrance. You. This is 100% a feminine fragrance. You could work around a little bit more if you want to turn it into a unisex scent with the Eau de Toilette, but the Eau de Parfum, it's very, very feminine. I love feminine fragrances. This is super feminine. It's super classy, sophisticated, chic, elevated. You will feel like really, really put together, very polished, smells niche. This fragrance smells niche, guys. Needless to say, it smells way more expensive than it is. And trust me when I tell you that all of these fragrances smell way more expensive than they are. They are not necessarily groundbreaking in, in some cases, but still very, very beautiful fragrances that will make you feel super put together, very sophisticated, and again, for less than $100. So sometimes you will have to work around maybe with testers or with small bottles, 
but still you will get all of these fragrances for less than a hundred bucks. And Chariot lasts about six hours. Sometimes I get more. In the warmer months, I get uh, around seven hours, but usually on average is six hours. I wear this fragrance all year round. And as I said, five, six, seven hours, depending on the weather conditions and the temperature, that's a major factor that affects a fragrance longevity. It has a very beautiful sillage. Projection is average. I would say about an arm length, slightly less maybe. But overall, I think it has a very, very nice performance. It's perfect for summer nights. Oh, and again, the warmer and the more humid the weather, the better this will perform. Yeah. Cheriel Auto Parfum. Moving on, we come here with Versace Parfum. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a gorgeous, floral, fruity, bright, sparkly type of scent. Very, very beautiful. I think this is my favorite from the classic Versace line, from the mainstream line. And I also love Crystal Noir. However, Crystal Noir, I don't think smells expensive. It's beautiful. I have it and I wear it. However, I don't think that Crystal Noir smells expensive. Now, this one does. This and Versace also, which is another flanker from this one. It's green. I used that for many years. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, I think this smells more expensive and this is why it made it to this list. I think this fragrance is pretty watery. watery. I wouldn't say aquatic because sometimes aquatic can be understood as something more masculine or even salty or even oceanic, which is not. It's just watery because it has lotus flower and lotus flower, same as bamboo and other notes like lily, for example, give fragrances this aquatic or watery type of accord, right? So this is what it is. This has orchid, it has jasmine, it has lotus, it has musk, it has lilac, it has guava, which is a fruit, of course. And it also has vetiver and cedar. Absolutely beautiful. This is not an over the top type of scent. This is not a beast. However, this is a very chic, very sophisticated type of fragrance. You can wear this for absolutely everything. It's safe to wear to work. It's safe to wear to run errands. It's safe to wear around people who don't even like fragrances. It's a very inoffensive fragrance. I don't know one single person who doesn't like it. On top of that, I get compliments all the time as well. It's very, very beautiful, very sparkly, very bubbly, almost fizzy. 100% a crow pleaser. It's a feminine fragrance. I think, for example, Verse Sense can be more borderline unisex, but this one to me is 100% feminine so yeah you should definitely give this a try it smells really expensive very very chic and very sophisticated and it's versace pour femme the next one guys on my list is kelly kalesh so kelly kalesh guys is understated luxury in a bottle it's understated luxury at its best it's similar to the understated type of luxury that bottega veneta has i always bring bottega as a comparison because it is the epitome of class and the epitome of the understated luxury. This is super, super soft. This is a 100% entry level fragrance if you want to step into leather fragrances. Even if you don't like leather in fragrances, you might still like this because the leather here, I would say it's more suede than leather and it's extremely buttery and soft. So soft that you can't even tell if there's leather here or not. This fragrance has rose, it has leather. Let me spray some on here. Oh, rose, leather, and grapefruit right in the opening. It has a bright citrusy type of opening. It's not tart, it's not acidic, it's not lemony. It's the perfect, perfect combination. With Absolutely lemon. stunning. Those three notes are very, very prominent in the opening. It also has lily, it has iris, it has tuberose. I don't like tuberose as you know, but here it's so well blended that you really don't have that tuberose in your face, which is what bothers me. If I have tuberose in the composition, if it is well blended, I don't mind. And this is the case. You really won't have that tuberose in your face. I would say that the most prominent notes when it starts to dry down, the rose it's and the grapefruit. You can start smelling the leather, but it's more like in a supporting role. It's more like lingering in the back. It's not really right in your face, but still you can smell a slight, slight leather accord, very soft, very chic, very sophisticated. This fragrance, it's 
I think it's one of the safest fragrances in the market for whatever you need it, for whatever, <laughs> literally. It's a very, very safe fragrance, perfect for work, perfect for small environments, perfect to work around people. As I said before, even around people who don't like fragrances, you will still enjoy this fragrance and nobody will feel offended or anything. It's a very, very inoffensive type of scent. It smells very expensive, very luxurious. Oh, I love this. I love this. This fragrance is sophistication in a bottle, period. I have no better words to describe Kelly Kalesh. So if you haven't tried it, give it a try. Mind you, there is Kalesh and Kelly Kalesh. This is Kelly Kalesh, which is basically the new version of the original Kalesh by Hermes. Moving on, guys, I have here Enfusion Damond. This is by Prada. This belongs to the Infusion line. I used to wear the original one, the Infusion Diaries, which I loved, and I got just tired of it, but it's absolutely stunning, super refined, super sophisticated. I just didn't repurchase this fragrance because I've worn I don't know how many bottles, and really, there's so much to choose from in the market that right now I am very, very picky when I buy new fragrances. So this is my favorite from the Infusion line, and it's absolutely stunning. And it's weird to me because honestly i'm not a big fan of almonds in fragrances but in this case it's so so well blended so well done that it's absolutely absolutely beautiful sometimes almonds tend to have that typical amaretto type of accord which i don't love i don't dislike it but i don't love it but here the almond is completely different it's actually a bitter almond and it's very very soft and creamy and rounded that gosh i absolutely love this fragrance this smells it's super super all the fragrances in this infusion line but this one in particular to me smells super super luxurious and sophisticated very very nice this fragrance to me is a masterpiece it's simple yet elegant sophisticated chic you will feel super polished wearing this fragrance it has a very beautiful sillage you literally leave a trail behind you People love it. I always get compliments when wearing this. It's a powdery, almondy, of course, nutty, vanilla, creamy type of scent. It also has heliotrope, it has tonka, it has musk. It's a musky scent, I have to tell you. If you don't like musk, probably this is not for you, but it's not musk front and center either, right? So if you can tolerate musk or if you even like musk, go for this but if you can't stand musk stay away because this definitely is a musky scent super feminine super inoffensive super classy i think this can also be unisex it's very feminine to me but it can also be unisex because it's not overly sweet it's not overly girly but it's still a very feminine scent this is a fragrance you can pull off all year round i think this is more like a daytime type of scent safe to work safe for everything any type of occasion event you have you will feel very very classy very sophisticated and very put together wearing this fragrance it's very very beautiful give it a try infusion Damande by prada the next one guys is curl of gold i've talked about this fragrance before i will link the video here this is a gem this fragrance is perfect for this time of the year you can pull this off all year round of course but this is perfect for spring summer in particular yes you have here those santan lotion vibes but they are very soft honestly you will smell the coconut here you will have those tropical vibes those beachy vibes but they are very very soft <sighs> this fragrance is very sophisticated smells more expensive than it is that's why he made it to this um, list. More, I would say this is more like an undertone type of glamour. This is not like a Vegas type of glam. I would say this is more like a French Riviera type of glamour. Understated, super sophisticated, no bells and whistles, but still with a lot of presence and very, very sophisticated. As I said, very chic and very polished. The coconut. The coconut here is very prominent. It also has strawberry, another fragrance with strawberry that I don't struggle with. It also has French Ipani, it has TR, that, that together with the coconut make this fragrance smell very beachy, very tropical. Vanilla is present here, jasmine and musk as well. It's super beautiful. It has a good lasting power, I would say around four hours. 
Siash is weak, projection is almost non-existent. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say non-existent, but it has a very weak projection in Siash. But I think this is part of what this fragrance is. With this typical strong tropical notes, I would think that if this would project more or if it would, would be stronger, I think it would lose its magic because I think it's a very sheer type of scent. I think it was designed from the molecular standpoint to be and to perform the way it is. I absolutely love it. This is a gem, super duper affordable. It's becoming harder to find. So if you like this type of um, accords, if you like this type of fragrances, I would say this is a very safe blind buy. I'm not encouraging you to blind buy, but if you don't have the opportunity to try this and you love this type of scents, I think the price it will justify jumping into a blind buy. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Again, this is a creamy coconut vanilla frangipani type of scent. Frangipani and tiara are also very prominent. So if you like this type of fragrances, you should definitely try Coral of Gold. The next one, guys, is Soleil by Fragonard. Fragonard is a French house based in Grasse in France. They being around forever, they They're make amazing fragrances for a very affordable price. They have very high quality scents and they use very high quality ingredients as well. Soleil is their best seller or at least the most famous of their fragrances. It's absolutely beautiful. Soleil in French means sun. And this is a very solar fragrance. When I smell this, I can see myself at the beach or hanging out in the summer. It's very, very beautiful, very sexy, very feminine. It's a very safe fragrance. This also has a little bit of vintage vibes, but I love this. I absolutely adore this. Soleil has orange blossom, it has TR, frangipani, although frangipani and TR are typical notes that we find in tropical scents, this is not a beachy fragrance. For example, it shares the same notes, frangipani and TR flower with coral of gold. Both have both flowers, however, the first one is a tropical scent, well, this is not. This is a summer scent, this is a floral solar scent, but it's not beachy at all. It also has lily, it has rose, very, very beautiful. It has musk, it has sandal with which you will get more in the dry down. It's sweet, but it's not cloying. It has the right amount of sweetness. It's, it's very sophisticated as well, very chic. This is also a very understated type of glam, very low key, no bells and whistles. It's a compliment getter. It has a very decent lasting power. Siash is also very beautiful projection. I would say it's kind of weak, but it's super, super duper elegant. Give it a try, Soleil by Fragonard. I actually made a whole video about Fragonard fragrances. I will link it here. And the last one for today, guys, from this part one is Ote Rouge by Bulgari. This is a gem. This is a gem. I also talked about this fragrance before. This is a gem and it has been discontinued. This is my favorite from Bulgari's tea line and it's absolutely stunning. So, so beautiful. This is not the typical tea fragrance because this is not like the black tea or the white tea or the green tea. This is rooibos tea. So it's less bitter, it's sweeter and it's smoother as well. It's absolutely beautiful. If you have ever tried rooibos tea, you will understand exactly what I'm talking about gorgeous as i said this has been discontinued you can still get it online but get it while it lasts because it's very popular it's a very sought after fragrance and it won't be around for long unfortunately i want to buy a backup i haven't buy it yet beautiful massive compliment getter let me tell you this fragrance has been created by olivier polch who's the nose behind le lion by chanel less exclusives it has orange it has fig, which is prominent, and it is a surprise to me because I don't like fig, but here it's stunning, guys. It also has pink pepper, beautiful tea, of course. It has walnut, which is also a very rare note to use in fragrances. It's very refined, very classy, very sophisticated. This fragrance is so unique, guys. So, so sophisticated. This is the epitome of class in a bottle as well. It's so different from your typical tea scents that even if you don't like tea in fragrances, if you try this, 99% sure you will love it. 
if you don't like tea but you like the other notes like orange pink pepper musk this is not a really musky fragrance but it does have musk if you like all the other notes i'm sure you will love this fragrance lasting power is about five hours which i think it's very decent considering this is an eau de cologne i have other perfumes that don't even perform that well right so considering its category i think it's pretty decent it has a beautiful sillage the sillage like literally lingers in the air it's absolutely stunning projection is average or weak i would say but sillage is beautiful lasting power is really decent as i said and i can't get enough of this fragrance i really take a lot of care of this little bottle because once it's gone it's gone <laughs> so get it while it lasts guys Ote Rouge by Bulgari. And this is it for today, guys. So if you would like to have a part two, I actually filmed this thinking in filming a part two, but everything is up to you guys. If you don't want to see part two of fragrances that smell expensive for under $100, please let me know and I'm not going to do it. But I'm here for you. I create content for you. So your opinion matters. Let me know in the comments below if you like a part two. Let me know if you have tried any of these fragrances and if you like the video from today. So stay safe and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye-bye.